Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Shadow and Sun Show. And today we're going to be making that. Tentacles. Whether you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, Shadows of Brimstone, Call of Cthulhu, other horror games, or even like uh, Traveler or some other sci-fi game, you'll invariably come up with a need or desire as a game master to throw some sort of tentacled creature at your party, or maybe you're just a sculptor and you want to, you know, make some new monster, which I'm actually in the process of working on, and I might do that as an extra credit for this month. Uh, I've, I've made a lot of tentacles over the last year and a half, and I've come up with some easy tips to make it a lot easier, a lot less thought involved, and all the worries taken out for you. The little guy is going to show you how you make the basic beginning tentacle. Or more accurately, I'm going to try because I don't know if I'm good enough. Oh, come on. You can do this. Yeah. You basically make a worm, which you can make one big thick one or, you know, a couple of medium-sized ones or a bunch of really thin ones. Like this? It's your tentacle, you know. You get to do whatever you want with it. Maybe you'll make it a pencil topper or, you know, something to, you know, uh, scare your mom with later. And then... This is the tool you're gonna to want to use. Um, I would, I would, before you go, I would make it a little pointier at the end. Okay. Just, uh, just to give it, you know, as much creepiness as, as possible. Hmm. We may, I believe, we did talk about this a long time ago. For the. I believe. The final Maybe. faction videos. Oh yes, it was actually no. We didn't make it until the Abilith. The Abilith was when we first discovered this. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Because the original way he did them was bad. Yeah. And then he found a new way, which was not bad. Which, once you've gotten the tentacle to a certain point... And he found it by accident. Yes. He left it in water, hoping it would... Hoping that it would stay soft. Right. But it was wrong. Right. No. But all it did was make something that was not that bad. Yeah. Uh, Milliput, that's what we're using. We're using both the super fine and the regular... The super fine is, I don't have a box for it, but it comes in a black and white box. This is the regular. It's uh, more yellow and brownish in the two parts. And the super fine is white and more of the sort of brownish color in the other package. And we're just experimenting with the two different kinds here. Um, but yeah, once you've made the tentacle to a certain, you know, uh, where, where you like it, like for example, this shape here, you can leave it in the water. And the reason I like to leave it in the water until it completely dries, which is going to take a lot longer than normal, uh, because if you mess with it before it's ready, it will start to remove these sort of details. But the reason I put it in the water is so that gravity is lessened on it. And so it doesn't, uh, if I were to leave it drying on this silicon mat, it will make a flat edge here. And if you want it, you know, actually coming out like that or like that as opposed to laying flat, they'll be... Good. Yeah, it does. You want to put it in the water in the shape that you like? That's what your water is there for. Mm -hmm. And he's going to leave this in the water until tomorrow morning, and then we'll be able to pull it out and... Uh, in this water? Yeah, and then let it dry again like on this? however the shape you want. Uh, if you want it curled up, that's kind of cool. Um, like that? I was using... Yeah. I was, let me see. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's actually really a neat, a neat uh, shape. Then after it's dried in the water, you'll take it out, let it dry. Don't let it dry on paper towels. Get some wax paper or something. That's another mistake I made. Or like this? Yeah, a silicone mat would be best. Wax he was also very impatient, so they turned out bad. Right. Uh, if, you, if you leave it, you, you might be inclined to want to put it on uh, paper towels to dry. To absorb that water but if you do that what's going to happen is it's going to, stick. it's going to stick that's right i think i did that with this one and it's some of the paper ripped off and i no, it was this one right and you can still kind of see there's some paper there and i had to sand it off with an emery board to get rid of the little paper you know particles that were sticking and and just making it look terrible uh, you want to work on this one it's, it's yeah, bigger well, sure and I made a very thin snake 
of Millipod. I think that's going to be too thin. I think it's going to rip in my hands. Well, if it does, you just peel it off and work again. Uh, basically, what I did... Shouldn't I work on that? Cause... No, because uh, uh, if you do, then you have less room to work with. You're only going to do one side because then you run out, you know, see how it's resting on my uh, hand. Wouldn't it be on both sides? Yeah, but when this white stuff dries, we'll then do the other side. Otherwise, you're going to accidentally, you know, bump it and scratch it. So show the camera what I did was I just made a, a, a raised area on one side of the, the suction cups. That's what these holes are supposed to represent. So that it, it will give it a non, you know, snake-like, perfectly round. Did I ever tell you I don't like working with Milliput? Yeah, every time we use Milliput. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, you also said it in the announcement video. And once you get it on in the, sh the location you want, then you smooth it out. As you can see, I smoothed it this here. This stuff is too sticky. Uh, wet your hands. As you can see, it gives just a little raised indentation, more like a, a real tentacle. And then after that, um, because if you try to do any details... Okay, is this good? Now smooth it down on either side. What do you mean by that? Like I did here. Make it smooth to, to blend in with... See? Oh, God, that's kind of difficult. Yeah, well, you just saw me do it. It's not, it's not uh, you know, out of your uh, pay range. And, uh, I'm not paid. <laughs> so you blend it in on either side, trying to avoid getting it, you know, into the tentacle suction cup holes there. And to put detail on the outside, if you were to try to put those, the other details while this is soft, you're going to mess up these tentacle holes and you want it to dry. And if you put any details here when it's, you know, not dry, you'll invariably ruin those details. So what I did, again, was I put a little bit more of the white milliput to give you a couple examples of textures you could put on the outside. Where's my... Tool. And then I just, you know, scraped some lines on the outside, and then to give it a different detail, I just put a, a little blob there and poked a bunch of holes in it to just to make it look, you know, sort of scabby or barnacle-y or, you know, just, just different texture. Uh, I'm going to take this piece. Oh, God. Did it rip? No, it's just in a very different spot than it should be. Oh, okay. I don't think I'm good enough. Well, just do your best. I don't think I have the ability. Well, you... You, if you give up, then you don't have the ability, but if you continue on, then you do. You know, there's a joke in there somewhere, but I don't want to say it because of a certain person. Okay, don't say it. You're, uh, you're free to keep that one to yourself and maybe put it in the comments section later if you like. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, but... Yeah, I know. So I'm going to do the same thing he's doing and make a really small little snake. Is this good? Are you happy with it? Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Do the other side next to the Can't tentacles. Yeah, the, the part closer to the tentacles looks like it could use some. Okay, it's some good now. On the on the outer edge, but flip it over, and you can still see that gap there. If you want, you could actually use the tool I was just using, and use this end to, to smooth it for you if you're worried that you're. Smooth it on one side. The inside closest to the suction cups. It doesn't have to be perfect. The paint will, oh God, you know, the, the paint will get in there, and then when we put washes in there, it'll, you know, show some of that detail as well. But hopefully this is long enough for switch on. I'm going to work on that one. And these silicon mats are... are the ultimate when it comes to working with this stuff and you know when you need to roll it out like this I, wax paper just doesn't work plastic wraps don't work despite that if it's pink then it has a it's scientifically proven to not function properly according to him yeah I, I could have bought a pink uh, silicon mat but I I, I think we and mentioned you said you chose to spend around twice as much to get no it was, it was the same amount and I actually got this metal pan and uh, a cookie rack free or, or with it for the same price I was going to pay otherwise. So you bought them all separate? Nope. It all came together for 10 bucks, and that was actually a, a better deal than just paying $10 for a pink silicon baking mat. So I guess being unreasonable worked out for you in the end? Yes, it often does. That's well, not good. Well, when you're the boss, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but it's still not good. No. Being 
Unreasonable and inefficient doesn't shouldn't usually work out. I'm sorry, I'm just not bringing a pink baking mat onto the show. I went through that. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's just it's more efficient to buy it and for a price that isn't very expensive. Well, and, like I just said, it was it was. Yeah, deep. but you didn't know that. Well, I did when I looked around. <laughs> Teenagers, right, folks? That logic doesn't make any sense. It, it will when you're not a teenager and you have kids of your own to be like, oh my god, he was right. No, not, no that's not I'll what I'm talking about. That, yeah. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about... I'm, I'm, I'm ta- I'm, it, it, it does not compute. It does not compute. And definitely use lots of water. It, it definitely is your friend when you're working with this stuff. Especially I find the, the super fine milliput and I need to restock up on that stuff before the holiday season is in full swing because after that it just won't be around. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. But like I told you guys in the last time we worked with this, I, I hid the milliput in the store and <laughs> it's still there. I don't like that. You don't like that? Oh, well, they don't care as long as it sells. Yeah, that, well, that's not good. Did you rip it? Oh. Yeah. It's got to be a little more... I'll just tear it off and start from scratch. Okay. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Do you need the baking mat to roll it out again? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and take it. start to dry and with this one I'm going to actually try to do the, the line texture all the way down and if you need to do it in you know smaller pieces and then meld them together that might be helpful too I thought about or if we want to take that piece yeah because this isn't working yeah it might be too wet yeah and I'll just take another piece of the white also I'm going to use a different one because that one has the weird loop no, it has the the wrap. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe oh. the really big one, and just this work. One? Yeah, you can just work on that. Yeah, but it isn't enough. Oh, okay, then the, the, this one is the only really, or that one. This one. No, this one. It's still a bit too big. I think so. Yeah. This okay. One. Well, whichever one you want to use is fine. We're not gonna finish these in this video because you have to wait for the the first line to dry and when it's dry and solid it won't you know be ruined and I was actually going to try something yeah, else this is as far as it reaches okay well then make another one out of this I'm actually going to do something I saw on uh, another would this be enough? if it's too much you just you know put it off to the side if it's not I saw this sort of little detail on a reaper I think it was a reaper tentacle there's a Reaper has this set that's a well miniature, and the tentacles have these little lines on them, like this, all the way down, just to give it more detail and places for the washes to collect to show off this little detail when you painted it and start adding, you know, army painted washes. Work with this too. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Maybe a little bit too thick. Take, take, like, rip it in half and just use a small piece. Be careful, because, like, right there, it's just starting to pull up. You think this is good? Yeah, yeah. You start with the, the pointy end and work your way down. All the way to the end. And this will also help push it further onto the tentacle, but I, I really like I, the way that the little detail is going to show up. But uh, I was looking at all my other tentacles in my collection to see the different kinds of details they have. I don't know if you can see that, but when it dries and then I paint it, it's going to actually, you know, make it look a little bit more, you know, professional. You know, all, all this milliput work is is new to both of us. We really, you know, 
I never used this stuff in the old days if I needed to, you know, okay, this works. Yeah. You want to do the same thing I did to help push it on? Did you see much? I don't know what you did. Here, look. I just went and stabbed it all the way from start. Here you go. That's perfect. And that'll help push it in place. You know, and if that little line, you know, isn't perfectly smoothed in, that'll be okay too because again... I think it's just pulling it off. Well, keep getting it wet. This way? Mm-hmm. And like I said, it'll give places... You know, I, never, I just cut it in half. Okay, well, be a little more gentle maybe. And Yeah, but I pulled oh, it. Oh, okay, okay. And maybe. being more gentle just made it worse. Okay, then let's... Why is it... Pulling up Okay, what, what did you do that I didn't... Let me see, let me see. Maybe you just didn't... Get it on yeah, I think I just did it wrong. Probably. Just more water to smooth it on to give it a little chance to stick a little better. Probably. It, it's you know it's it's a you you you've got to have a, a little bit of confidence and a little bit of patience. And well, yeah. he's got plenty oh, of God. confidence. His patience is that of a teenager, so. Um, but you got it in a pretty good. You know, it looks fine, but it's just just needs a little it just needs a little bit more water, I think, to, to act as a glue. But otherwise. Is your board bad enough? Well, I didn't do that part, I'm just uh, doing the first part by oh. Did you stab your tentacle? Yes. <laughs> That's not good. It's okay. I think I'm just failing at everything I tried today. No. Oh, you, fa you failed. I cut it in half. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I stand corrected. <laughs> Can you... <laughs> I don't... Can you this salvage? is worse than that one time. Can you salvage it? Yeah, kind of. I don't know. I don't think so. I think this is worse than that one time. Okay, well, next you remember? time... We'll, yeah. You next time, next time we'll give you a different cup of water. <laughs> you know what work. I'm talking about. Yeah, that, I right? do know what you're talking about. <laughs> and this is worse. <laughs> Actually, no, I think it's salvageable. Okay, well, you salvage it and let me... It's going to have a scar. <laughs> Can I see the tool? Oh, you're, you're still... There. No, nope, that's not it. The other one. I like it. Exactly. Way. Now I'm gonna try and do what he was trying to do. Yeah. And put these little lines and see if I, you know, can do it. Oh my god. Yeah. It just needed more water. Yeah. And a little bit of patience because there are times that it is pulling up, back up. As you see, you just you just gotta be really, really gentle, and that's something uh, uh, that I've been pretty good at. Right. I'm going to try to salvage this. Okay. Because if uh, you can't, it's going to end up uh, being unable. You won't be able to work with it uh, if it's so waterlogged. We had that problem before. If the stuff gets too waterlogged, you, you really can't do much. No. Oh, God. No, it's, I, think it, I think I just ruined the entire thing. This is not very good. this and do some more work on this one to do some more of the lines that is better. you want to uh Take some paper towels, dry it off, and re-roll it? Yeah, because it's in three pieces now. Yeah, I saw that. It just fell apart. I think... Well, I know exactly what I did. I cut it in half. Yeah. Which was not very smart. 
and they didn't intentionally do it, but I yeah, you forgot know. that it was in there. Yeah, which wasn't very smart. Yeah, it's okay, buddy. You 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 know you'll you'll learn more from that mistake than the fifty we did that one time. Yeah, because mistakes. You know, we were just talking about that. Uh, was it today or was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Where you know, when we make something, and the first time, it never looks as good as the second or third or fourth time because of all the the lessons we learn from learning from our mistakes. Like this. Mm-hmm. And that's that's you know the the. You can learn a lot from from lessons and and other people's mistakes, but making your own mistakes, that's that's where they're learning, really. I think that's not the tool I was looking for. That's where that's where the learning really comes in, is making the mistakes so that it's ingrained in your brain, so that you cannot make. cut the thing you were just working on, <laughs> or whatever the mistake was. Yeah, or just drop everything on the floor that you were working on. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure that's what we did that one time. No, oh, well, yeah, when we were making those mods on the uh, Final Faction figures, right? Yeah, we just... He, he just dropped everything, folks. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he was Mr. Butterfingers that day. If you, Was it the demons or the sci-fi ones? That we it was were the mod? sci-fi ones. If you go back and check out our uh, Final Faction sci-fi mods, which was quite a while ago, uh, you'll see Mr. Butterfingers in... in in his heyday, and it was it was pretty funny because, believe it or not, when we were done with the month and everything was you know completed, you you'll you never guess all the mistakes we both made and were able to recover from. And uh, speaking of Final Faction, the there's new ones. Yes, as far as I know, the only thing that's out for Final Faction is the ATV vehicle. Like and the like and, or and the okay. Does this look good? Yeah, it looks like this. See, you fixed it. Now put it back in the water. Could and, I still do this? Yes, put it back in the water and leave it alone. And here's water. Leave this water alone. Never touch it again. <laughs> yeah. And now you can do the the. Um, you're soaking in a joke again. What? Remember? We never palm, made that. No, the, the palm olive story I told you about. Yeah, we never made that joke. It's just stick watch. Stick your fingers in there. Okay. okay. Now he's sucking in it. Well, I don't for you old, that. for you old timers, oh, you remember? Oh yeah, I remember that. The Paul Ball commercial. I, I was having to explain it to him, but uh, yeah, the uh, Final Faction vehicle is out in some locations, and we're gonna go hit up all of our favorite. That was just Texas. Well, we're gonna find out because it's been about a week now since uh, Texas got them, and we're gonna go and see if we can find some of the vehicles and the armor slash weapons accessory kit because I already have some ideas for what we're going to do with that. But uh, I think uh, they got the, the gist of what we were trying to yeah, show them. Yeah, many, many failures. Mishaps? M yeah, mishaps. So, uh, let, piping mishap. Uh -huh. So let's uh, just get another close-up of oh the God. tentacles. That's not good. And we'll repeat the little white strip on the other side once everything is dry. It's not good. It's, 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 it's no, it's that. And there's a better look at just the strip. And when it's dry, I can put the other one on this side. And right around there, and then I'll do some details on the back. And all these tentacles will either be used in a extra credit craft or we'll just save them for some other project later on down the road but I am working on a couple of monster ideas for our upcoming Call of Cthulhu games so wish us luck have a wonderful weekend grab yourself some Millipup while it's still on the shelves and we will see you Sunday for painting what are we painting? painting on miniature we're painting. continue uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we'll we'll be doing another dueling dragons Wait, paint. Really? Well, you're gonna paint one Cthulhu, and I will paint the other Cthulhu. Yeah, but it's a lot smaller. Yeah, I know, but you it's. Usually, when we do this, we paint the exact same thing. Right, but actually, we've only done it once. Right, so mm -hmm. have, have a great weekend, folks. Thanks for stopping by and playing along. We will see you guys Sunday, and. Uh,
yeah, I'm glad that my failures at least brought a, a, a lot, at least one relief. Anyways, bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. And like and subscribe if you like the video. <laughs> bye. bye.